Hi there, Dave Rawlings here of the London Longsword Academy and today I'm going to have a little look at a feather by Landsneck Temporum. It's an interesting piece. This is based on the supposed image of Johann Lichtenauer in the von Danzig manuscript. Now this, if you bear it in comparison to a Pavel Mock sportive feather here, much smaller shield, much longer grip, much more manoeuvrable, much more safe for sparring, lots of flex. So in that respect, would you ever buy this to spar with in competition? Not if you had any respect for your opponent. Would you use it for sparring in your club? If it was really, really light touch sparring where you were really looking at leverage and just looking at momentum and this kind of thing and you had a lot of control, maybe. Where it comes into its own, however, is as a replicator of this. This is my Alexandra, and this actually is quite fantastic for having a blunt replicator of this sword. So if I want to feel a sword that is a lot bigger, has a lot more heft, has a lot of momentum to it, this is a really good sword for training all of the little subtle things that we do with the normal feathers, the lighter feathers, the sportive feathers, with something that is a bit more of a beastie sword. So, absolutely not for sparring in any form of ultra competitive environment for very very light rolling for drilling certainly it's a very interesting piece it might make us want to question what is actually being shown in the image of Lichtenauer in fact but the construction on this by the way was as you'd expect from Landsnet good and solid quite basic but very very sturdy and functional their fit and finish is getting better as they go on there was an issue this was like a razor blade plectrum when I got it, it was incredibly sharp and you really feel it when you're drilling. But this is something they did for aesthetics and they know about it and they're not gonna do this anymore. It's gonna be smoothed off. So it's not a sparring feather, in my opinion. It is a good surrogate for a big beastie Alexander style sword. So in that respect, I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I have it. Do not buy this for competition, but if you want that replicator for the larger, heavier swords and you want that familiar familiarity for that heft, then yeah, this is a really good investment. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Bye-bye.